Okay, hi. I opened your plan in uh, Chief Architect Premier X10. Uh, relative to roofs, uh, Chief Premier and uh, Pro are about equal. No, no tools in, in the one has that the other doesn't have. What I'm going to do is uh, hit Shift on my keyboard, Shift F6, to tile with screens. So I need to do that again. There we go. And then I'm going to zoom in here, plan B wise, and go to the first floor. Oh, I don't want to go not on the 3D screen. Let me go back there and click on this one. Go down to the first floor on this one. Okay. I see you've got a ceiling plane in, in there. Let's see. I'm going to take a quick look in there with a Elevation camera. See what you do with that ceiling plane. Okay. I see you put the ceiling plane at a lower pitch. That's fine. Need to go a little bit more up roof with it. I'm going to turn the grid off. I never used a snap grid. Click on that ceiling plane. I'm going to bring it right up against the exterior wall so there won't be any gap showing. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to turn on the reference display so I can see where the windows are. I'm going to click on the edge of the roof plane. I got the ceiling plane. I'm going to hit the tab key. Okay, I'm going to turn ceiling planes off. I don't want to select. It. Turn display options again. Go to the ceiling planes. There it is. I'm going to turn that off. I don't need to work on that in the uh, land view. Now I should be able to get the roof plane by clicking next to that wall. Probably get the wall first. No, I got. Let's see, is that the roof plane? We open the dialog box and see. Yeah, okay, that's the roof plane. Good. So you've already got a break here. That's good. Just need another break. We use the edit toolbar. And click on the break line tool and put another break over here. Okay, and I've got a break here. I'm going to move this break over to the right a little bit so it clears the window. Okay, now I'm going to cl click on this move handle and move that out, move that edge out. Going a little slow because I have a, the 3D camera. Yeah, see how I created a slot there? And I'm going to, with that automatic dimension, I'm going to make it 24 inches, like you said. Let that update. I'm going to go back to the elevation camera and make sure that that's actually enough. I'm, I'm going to use a backflip this time. Backflip, uh, where you left click, that creates a viewpoint and where you release the mouse, that's, that's how much of the model you're going to see. <clears throat> okay, see two feet's not going to be enough at, at this roof pitch. We're going to, let me draw a CAD, a two-dimensional CAD line here on the sill. You're going to have to come out to this point right there. That's another We'll measure from here to there. We're gonna have to come out another three foot four. I'm gonna go back to plan view. And click on this. And I'm gonna put two feet plus three foot four. It's going a little slow because I had the 3D camera open. I'm going to go back to the uh, elevation camera, just a regular elevation camera. A backflip's not really necessary. And now I can just use my cursor 
So it's going to be a little, a little tight. I need to go out a little bit more, which is down roof, so that the flat roof will come in. Uh, we want it to come in about here. So I, I need to go another, uh, click on this screen here. I'm just going to eyeball it and come down another eight inches or so and check it with my cursor. Okay, that'll work. Okay, now I'm going to kill this camera, go to my uh, roof tools. I'm going to draw, well, as soon as it, I need to go to plan screen and then click on the roof tools. That's it. I'm going to left click and drag a roof plane baseline right there, come up roof with it and let it hit the side of the building. It's going to come in at whatever the default pitches and then yeah it's too steep i'm going to set this open this dialog box and set it to zero inches instead of eight i'm not going to worry with changing the material on it right now but it should hinge yeah from that spot and it, see it comes in underneath the window i'm going to go a little bit under the uh of the roof plane on the left and right. <clears throat> okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna to go to the wall tool and use your default uh, exterior wall and draw a wall right on top of this roof plane. I think it's, uh, you, you set your defaults to a six inch wall, which probably isn't appropriate. Let me uh, change this one to a, a four inch wall. Go over here to wall types and change it to from siding six to siding four. But the software just does what you set the defaults to. It looks like the material defaults hadn't been set either. So I to, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna move that with the arrow keys to the right a little bit. Just so it's on top of that plane there. Okay, good. Uh, back one click. Can't really see it. And I'm going to open this wall and tell it what kind of wall it needs to be. It needs to be an attic wall. It needs to be uh, no room to find. No, no, like a just a means automatic dimensions won't delocate it, but that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna to go to the roof tab, roof tab, David, roof tab, and tell this wall that it, the roof cuts the wall at the bottom. So the wall will just exist between the two roof planes, basically. I'm gonna click okay, and then uh, hit the copy command as the computer catches up with my, see there's that wall I put in there. I think the sheetrock side showing, so I'm gonna flip the layers using the flip layers tool. It'll probably show that blue siding because you haven't set the defaults properly, but that's okay. I'm gonna copy this wall, which has some programming in it to this side. Yeah, and flip the layers on this one so the layers are to the uh, inside side on each side. Uh, flip layers. Probably should have. Oh well. Should have, could have, would have. I'm going to go over here to the 3D screen and use the eyedropper and grab the siding and put it on that siding there. Change it from the blue to, the, to this matching stuff. And this one's not done, but uh, you get the idea. That's how you do that. Now, if you want to change this material here on this roof plane, fine, you can. But that's basically how I would do that in, in Pro or Home Designer, uh, I mean Home Designer Pro or Chief Architect Premier. Okay, thanks for watching. That's it. Best of success with your, uh, with your plan.